I think most textbooks these days would have something written about good procedures for keeping track of your data, uh, including some discussion of backing up and file naming conventions and storing conventions. So textbooks that are talking about analysing qualitative data for, for that or uh, more general methods books. On not being able to use data because of good documentation, I've got focus group data that I, I'm not sure that I'll be able to publish in quite the way that I want because the transcribers couldn't distinguish who was saying what. And that is a very difficult thing to do. But in this focus group, everybody said their, their pseudonym at the beginning um, and something about themselves, which should have been enough, I thought, for the transcriber to maybe be able to pick out the people. Now normally that wouldn't be a problem if I'd done, done this myself, but in this instance um, I was paying uh, somebody else to collect the data and they were, they were then not available to listen to the tape and so um, if you can't actually attribute who's speaking for certain purposes the data is not valuable. Um, so, you know, that's just a kind of warning story.